Hello and welcome. Today I'm, um, this game came out today. Yeah, no, it came out yesterday. Um, it's called Depth. It's a really cool game. I, I love it. I love undersea games. I love space games. I love survival horror type of games. I think this game is very good, uh, for what it comes with, I guess. Like, I enjoyed, look at this animation. The animation of the dive was pretty cool. Looking to the left and kind of like swaying to the side a bit uh just looking around the whole 360 degree movement is really cool cool in this game like if, if you haven't played it interesting uh yeah so uh there are shocks in this game you can't look around you can't you can't really enjoy the scenery and enjoy just the game itself just kind of can't just stroll around. I know I'm probably saying that a ton, but if you do that, you end up dying because of a shark that is controlled by com uh, human players, which is fancy. So the point of the game is kind of just to survive, to get to the end, to follow Steve around until uh, they finish cracking up all the cases and then getting back on the boat. Everyone gets 30 lives. Uh, four players are the divers, two people are the sharks. Kind of like you would probably think that oh it's like oh it's four against two but it is actually work out because the sharks have more time have more people to kill while the divers have to work together and the game does get pretty dark uh so yes so at times you have no idea where the sharks are if your teams are split you aren't going to uh, survive for very long. So the main of the, so it's it's fun until you um it's fun going around collecting treasure, finding people to be on their own. But once people kinda have that initial oh it's a new game and I'm gonna go explore and all that, it does get kind of tough because people are now not really caring about treasure. They're like oh let's just camp in a way, protect Steve, get everyone's back, which is how the game's supposed to work, right? But it makes the job the shark's life. This shark's job a whole lot difficult. What you're seeing here is me playing my first three games, I believe. Kind of cut up into a 16 minute uh, video. Where I do kind of enjoy exploring the depths of the ocean and seeing where. I mean, yeah, it's kind of silly to explore. You eventually see it all um, once. It's basically a tour of the map if you follow Steve around. But if you do go ahead, you most likely won't find any sharks. And you can go free roaming for treasures as I am doing here. But as you can see, it is pretty dark. So having a shark come around you, you can definitely see it. You do get some fancy materials like bombs and uh, other tools to help you against the shark. Bombs are not friendly. You can blow themselves up by shooting the bomb by running into it. I don't really know what happened there. I think I shot it. Maybe a shark came by and blew it up on me. But it is a fun game. It, it's not. I don't think it's worth this twenty. $22 uh, that it is now oh it was when I got the game it comes with five maps as you as I will now show pretty soon after I die uh, and I've only beaten two of the maps I think this might be one of the maps that I've beaten um, not in this playthrough this is my first time I'm playing again League of Shocks you see it's 9 against 18 but yep, there's Almic, Cove, Fractured, Crude, and Antig Antigua. That's just the map so far. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, I was excited. There was two water games that was out. There was a um, construction type of game, and then this four-player survival. Um, it's a four-player four-player survival mo uh, game that seems kind of interesting. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I I do enjoy it. I really wish I had money to 
buy the other construction game. The water construction was like uh Foss Guy, Falk Foss Guy or something? I don't know. It looked really cool. Uh kinda. Though it didn't get really good ratings from the people. So I chose this one instead. We well, have a shark. But it's very rare because to play as a shark, uh I've only I only got to play as a shark twice by having it on random, but it seems you really need to have the shark option unmarked just for you to play a shark. Uh, most well, obviously, uh, most of the time because it's gonna be marked, but it's very unlikely to just to have it random that you get to play as a shark. I think maybe it was luck that I got to play as a shark because it was late. People may have been new. And some of these players are pretty old, like, they, they know what they're doing, they, obviously that diver did not know what he was doing, he went off on his own and got eaten by a shark. You don't do that in this game. <laughs> well, you do if you don't want to win. Uh. But, uh, but other than that, like, if you play this game for a couple of hours, couple of hours I think... You pretty much have seen everything this game has to offer. There, there is some, like, there's a lot of skill to this game. There's a lot of um, it, there is a level up system in a way, but it's not too cheap. It just you kind of unlock more skill sets that you have to walk your way up towards getting as a shark or the human. The human requires money. The shark requires skill points, which I think you get when you kill people. So either way, you still have to walk up to the um, unlocked level ups. Uh, I think that's all I really want wanted to say about um, depth. I might come back to it later in my rambles, but probably not. Oh, most likely I will. Uh, I was gonna. I don't, I don't really know what I was gonna say after I was done kind of talking about that. It just kind of shows you that I really do not plan out my videos. Um, oh, I do have a video, some uh, series coming out soon. It's gonna be like The Legend of Korra that I recorded. Whenever that game first came out, I was like, I'll buy it, I'll record it, I'll see how it goes. I, I played it, and I re finished the whole game in one sit through. And uh, I haven't really gotten back to it with um, playing around with the editors. But look at this game. This game looks fantastic and stuff. But like I said, probably, I don't think it was worth the twenty dollars just for playing it uh, for just what it offers now. You know, five maps, uh, the same game mode over and over again. It, if you have friends and all, it might be even better. I don't really have friends that go off and buy these type of games. So yeah, I don't really, I don't feel like that was worth it. Um, so yeah, about Legend of Korra, I, I am going to probably work on that soon and get that on the way. Just so it's out there on my YouTube. I kind of did a dual commentary on it. Uh... Lily came in and she didn't have her own mic and I was kind of, she was chatting to me, I'm like, go away, but she wouldn't go away, so, um, she wanted to watch, I guess. I'm not really good, so that's the thing, when I'm playing, um, I've, I've done some live, st live stream, right, I'm not much of a live streamer, I, when it's someone random comes in, you know, um, and they don't, and they don't really commit to the, um, the talking, it's like, hi, okay, I don't know, um, yeah, I can talk to you, but you're not really participating, so I'm not much of a, uh, I'm not much of a live streamer, if you guys are participating, and I could chat with you guys, other than you just sit in there, doing nothing, and then, uh, that's probably not bad, but, for instance, someone comes to my room, and they don't participate in the, um, the, the stream or the video I'm doing then they are kind of in the way at least a distraction in my mind 
which I think may or may not be silly. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Then there's the. Uh, but live streaming is fun. I did enjoy it. I had one. I've done. I've done one when we actually finished the game. It was PT. That was popular at the time. Did not know it was a Silent Hills trailer. That was kind of fancy. It would be great to see if the Silent Hill would be better than the other ones. Finally, um, a good Silent Hill game. Though Homecoming wasn't that bad. And whatever that snow, um, um, that snow Silent Hill game was that was on the Wii wasn't didn't seem that bad either. So I would think I was playing this game in uh, 720p, uh, just to m hopefully uh, not kill my video capture device that I was using in this. I didn't have my other one, which kind of it's good, but it stinks at the same time because it likes to uh, destroy the front, the uh, sound and visuals. They get off. They, they are in sync. That kind of. They're not in sync. They're, they're um desynced. Sorry, and it's kind of messy. And that's not bad if I didn't want any um, sound in any way because visuals and just mute the sound and just chat. A lot of people do that. Though I do like sound in the game. Uh, it tells you more about kind of more about the experience. I mean, the sound. And the sound's not bad. It's it's very very nice. It's it's the uh, heart the heart beating is uh, tells you. How close the dock is to you. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't hear any heartbeats, then you're pretty much safe. The faster the heartbeat, the closer the shock is to you. And I think the bodies actually um stay. I'm, I'm not too sure, but I think the bodies actually may stay in the, in the water, either until um they respawn or just indefinite. I really I think I think they think it might be indefinite. Maybe. Or at least I don't I don't really know. I'm trying to look back in this video and think, well, is that shock still there in that window? I mean both the shocks are here. I mean it would be crowded after a while if uh shock star kinda gun ho and team themselves killed. I don't know if I talked about the shock gameplay, but um the shock gameplay is very Cool. It's, it takes a while to get used to that you have to work as a team of the sharks. If you go into a room with four people, you will probably die if the people can't see you. Um, which leads me to another thing, which is it, the game is pretty dark. How the people see you, I do not know. Because I'm like, I'm being sneaky, then all of a sudden, I'm dying. I'm like, what? It's pretty dark, yeah, how they see me? I mean, I know we have lights and all, but I had a hard time finding freaking sharks. Sometimes I see the fins. I'm like, I tested it out. It's like, I'm gonna stick my fin out here and see if anyone notices it. Yeah, they noticed. They got me. They killed me. Sadly, I do not have any shock gameplay um, to share. It's all divers uh, gameplay, which isn't bad. The game is actually pretty fun on both sides, which is kind of strange because if you play Primal Carnage, most people want to play as the dinosaurs. While here, it seems. By chance, you play as a shark, or you force yourself to play as a shark. Oh, you're all set with dive. See, that guy came out of nowhere. I don't know if he came from behind or in the front. I could have been hit having lag, but this is a long. This is going to be the last stretch where we actually win the game. It's 12 against 4, and uh, it takes 2 minutes from this point on to finish the game. Even with uh, 3 sharks left. And I'm going to let you guys go here and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.